Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Starcom Nexus. Last episode, what happened? Of course, my customary chair movement. To let you know that I mean business. We encountered the Sentinel. Uh, we killed it with some difficulty. And, uh, yeah, I am intrigued by them. There's a pretty scary dude. They were not happy with something that was on my ship. Directives two and three. So I'm curious as to what that might be. Um, and I think we will swing home. I think we've got some stuff we can take care of. We can handle, I think we can get some more research. I'm kind of feeling, I don't know. I don't know what to get. There's so much. I want it all and it's tough. Tough to make those choices. But that's what makes them interesting, I suppose. Oh, you want to talk? Man, I want to talk to you about these sentinels you encountered. Do you have any idea what caused them to become hostile? Well, they claimed to be running some kind of scan. As soon as it was done, they demanded we abandon ship. Sounds like they're more technology advanced than the Chittick. How worried should we be? Confident we can outgun them. They have weak points. I hope you're right. I'll have our tactical teams reveal your battle logs in case they come knocking over here. Better get the Maker combat ready. Is there anything else? Use more crew. Plus eight. Nice. Fresh out of training. How's the morale? Staying exactly the same. Very good. 220 research. We could improve our ship turning. Hmm. We could get more shots, more damage. More accuracy. Do like nano reinforcement. Because all modules an additional 75. I mean it's what did you give me? 35? It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. It's 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 200 percent more armor on my on my stuff. Right? You don't actually tell me. I mean, the armor pieces are actually 220 armor, which is quite a bit. But we'll be at almost half that. We would be at almost half that. Okay. Let's do it. Boom. Very nice. Who's the protection of my armor modules to themselves and to neighbors? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the nano reinforcement. I do think I'm going to start um, maybe probably getting improved turbo and turbo efficiency next, as well as plasma lensing. I've got all of my energy things, solar converter. We gotta remember that too. We can fight pretty well close to a, close to a thing. Do we want more engines? Two more engines and another. Oh, we're maxed out. Now we don't need to save current. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I kind of like it. We're like half engine here, but if we get damaged, we're going to have a much harder time pushing ourselves because we're going to weigh more, right? We probably weigh a lot more mass. Yeah. Turn rate stays the same. Max speed does go up by quite a bit. I like it. And now, actually, I mean, we're, we're ready to, to move up. We are ready to move up. Can't do that. Yeah. We're going to get the next ship size. We are freaking fast. 
with some long range guns. I like it. All right, let's go back down to here. Keep on exploring this Chittick space or the Sentinel space. I know we didn't actually make ourselves technically combat str stronger in fighting directly there. But I think the speed is uh, is going to be worth it. It's paramount. No service noise detected. Did we actually get everything here? We did. And what do you connect to? Bloop. Right. Excellent. We've got ourselves some Chittick. I can just de -de 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 -de. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to blow them up so easily. Where are you guys are all trying to run away? Have I become a terror amongst the Chittick? That you fear me so. Makes sense. I have killed countless, countless amounts of you these days. So many of your people have died by my hand. Now we can chill. No surface anomaly. There are two jump points here. Interesting. All right, well, we'll pick one and we'll see what happens there. Ah, we got some gold. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, orange star, I'm pretty sure we Wait, what? The supernova imminent. Pair instability. What? It told me uh, I could continue doing something here. I should, yeah. It's about to go supernova. I swore I saw a green exclamation point when I was coming down here. Maybe that was my little, wow. Supernova imminent, huh? And there's an anomaly, very close. Very close to this uh, supernova planet. As recently as 50,000 years ago, this planet supported life. Now, even with extreme environmental control, the survey team can only spend a few hours on its surface. During its final centuries, this dying civilization lives in cities built within the shade of artificial craters. Records are sparse, but on a lower level, the team finds a fragment of a religious tract preserved in mud, which translates as... We're not gods, but devils. Do not pray to them for salvation. It was they who imprisoned their children here. A burning prison guarded by silver angels who would strike down any who rose up with their fiery red swords. Any salvation we must make ourselves, the daughters and sons of the dawn. There may be no more, but the team needs to return to the ship to recharge the lander's liquid healing supply. Interesting. A little mining? A little mining action? So, I guess we'll go this way. Blow up all this stuff on our way. Yeah, you, you do. What is this exclamation point? What am I missing here? Oh, there's enemies. I can do more. I can go back. Let's do that. Scans of buried refuse dump uncover an optical drive that sells recoverable data on it. Summary for the Chancellor of... Ooh, Go a long way, it's true, but I'm afraid it made the locks too hard to pick. Every year it gets a little hotter and harder to cool the array. By the time our children are running it, it'll be half as many keys as today. And the odds we find it in that time are about 1 in 5,000. Make the locks too hard to pick. It's it hotter and harder to cool the array. It'll be, tr it'll be trying as half as many keys as today. What does that even mean? Can I? Yeah, I can go back. Keys. Why are they trying keys? Part of what appears to be an academic paper parts were preserved in glass in an underground archive. It's a shame we're losing so much of our history. Every spare cycle goes to cracking the Sentinel's code. I know it's our only chance, but it used to be when a stack failed, we'd lost the backup. Now it's the original. There's so much knowledge lost. We know that our ancestors chose to imprison themselves here, but we no longer remember why. The archive also contains some valuable examples of the civilization's technology. A team leader thinks they may have exhausted the locations where records might have been preserved. 
The spare cycle goes to cracking the sentinel's code. We met the sentinel, haven't we? Um, we're gonna go to the southern portion here. I think first, as the other one is a bit closer to the entrance. Ooh, some sweet, sweet mining. Yeah, give me that titanium, that gold, some pl oh neutronium. All right, we are boom. What is that? Holy shit. Holy crap. Holy crap. Target out of range. That was a terrifying place to get dropped off. <laughs> are you kidding me? I don't know if we can handle this business here. But you know I'm going to try, right? God, they've got some great range. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy. Oh! I wish I could see them there. What's your deal, people? I, I actually, I don't know if I can handle this. Oh dear. Yeah, now I'm moving towards them. Can you hit me though? Seems like you have no problems trying to hit me. What is this target out of range business? Target out of range? Target out of range for what? What am I trying to do to this guy? Oh yeah, that was some good hits. Okay, we actually have you right where we want you now. And because I'm so much faster, I can actually just boost out of range when your shots show up. Did I kill you or? Okay, taking some damage, but we got one. We got one of you. And now you, we're just gonna get up in your face because you got this laser, oh shit. Okay, you just will just keep on shooting me like that if I'm in range, huh? Nice. Another one down. We can use our speed. And if we vary our speed. We can actually outrun them. Oh crap, and I'm out of energy. Alright, we're gonna do this though. We're gonna take the system. Can no longer kite, which is unfortunate. Oh. I mean, we can kite, but it's very difficult. Right? I just, like... Move <laughs> forward, move back. Come right to me, friend. Come right to me. There we go. That's new. That's not a nanite repair swarm, is it? 
integrated neural hardware. Judging from the fragment we recovered, the entire hull of these ships include neural circuitry. It probably allows the ship an incredibly high level of efficiency with little or possibly even no crew. But who's going to repair them? Right? Oh, this is an endpoint. There's no, uh, there's no actual way out of here. And what the hell is that? Oh boy, I'll tell you, that's, I mean, that's where we're going to go. That is where we are going to go. Survey ship crashed here probably centuries ago. The wreck has been picked clean by valuable equipment, but the team detected a second smaller anomaly a few hundred meters away. Looks like an escape pod that jettisoned too late for its chutes to work. Inside are the decayed remains of three bipedal aliens in flight suits. One of them looks like they have a personal recorder. Finish the survey of that brown dwarf system. There's a progen primer on one of its outer planetoids. The scientists think they figured out the unlock code. They need to coat the surface in neutronium and send an oscillating magnet field through. No idea why, but that's the progens for you. We didn't have the neutronium on board for it, so we're heading back to the supply depot. I captured an image of the ship's nav view as we left. Sorry about the quality. I was strapped down for high G departure. I'm going to tinker with our drive to slow us down. That should give us enough time should give you enough time to get there well before us. Do this right, we could be set for life. Ah, so somebody messed with something. That's probably why they died. They wanted to, to steal what they had found. So we've got this image. And that image looks... Actually doesn't look anything like... Uh, this stuff over here, huh? Yeah. Yellow, 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 and then a blue. Any any kind of high density there? Uh, yellow stars? Yellow, 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 blue. Boom. There's something out here. We're going to have to go and check that out. But right now, I mean, I'm... Actually, I'm going to go and explore some of this stuff. I thought about maybe I was going to go over there first. But nah, let's, let's... Easy fruit. Easy pickings first. So let's go back. Lots of stuff here. Scan, we can survey, and we'll just move on to the next one, you know, leave them behind. A number of craters on this planetoid were found covered with bizarre pointy formations. Further analysis shows that they were not the result of it in geologic progress, but grew out of the regolith, almost like plants. Even more strangely, the mineral cones appear to transmit information between clusters using vibrations. Yes, yeah, study that. Detailed analysis revealed that while the individual cones were capable of only very basic signal processing, an entire cluster possessed computational processing that qualified as sentient. Cone clusters likely were not indigenous to this planetoid, but were seeded by meteors. Fascinating. We could even go back. We could even go... Nope. Nope. Okay. So the little exclamation point is my my thing returning to me. Uh, my little my little ship. Scan you. You're not gonna have anything. You gotta go with your gut sometimes, you know. Class A three planet will have something. Ah, so good at this game. So good at this game. Let's see what we got. Several thousand hectares of this planet are covered with a sprawling metropolis. While readings showed energy and movement, there are no signs of life. As the team moves into the city, they discover that new buildings are being erected by autonomous construction equipment. In other parts, the city buildings are collapsing from neglect. The atmosphere is choked with smog from the machines. Explore the older buildings. Many of the older buildings show no signs of having been occupied except those closest to collapse. Lower levels of those are choked full of garbage and miscellaneous debris. 
Eventually, the team finds a regular clear grav lift shaft and climb to the upper stories. Several hundred meters above the city where the air is clear, they begin to find biped remains and scraps of documents. With the help of the Universal Translator, the team is able to construct a partial narrative of this culture. For centuries or possibly longer, most of the planet's population lived in comfort in these great cities. Everything was taken care of by machines that had been created by the progents, who we just heard about. Um, at some point, some of the machines began to stop working. First, the clone banks, causing the population to decline. Then the atmospheric purifiers, causing the street level to become inhospitable. Next, the sanitation and waste spots. Eventually, the food delivery drones died, and with them, the remaining population. Among the debris, the team finds some technical artifacts that no longer work but offer useful data. Let's go to the new buildings. The images the survey team send back remind you of the cabins of luxury cruisers, well appointed but generic and soulless. There's no indication of them ever having been inhabited. Let's take the stuff. Oh, the team manages to extract a modest amount of resources before the machines begin to attack. The team retreats to the outer city outskirts and the machines return to their construction work. Well, that was. that's very sad. Sad, sad, sad. Um, and then there's one more. We'll clear. We'll clear out this area before we move into the next one. I'm very, very curious about what this thing is, and I'm even gonna do a flyby. Nope. Actually, I'm really hungry. My pie was still cooking this entire episode by the time. By the way, so this is gonna have to wait for the next episode. We are gonna figure out. What in the hell this thing is? Now we know this area was heavily defended. But there's a bunch of stuff over here. Far away from the star. Just hang out over there. We also know that there's something to find probably here. And so we're going to take a look into both of those things next time. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.